I mean, they be small one. So I grow now. So I didn't want me to say, I shall say, man, no come up for you. Pay for married you now. I say, hey, mommy, I say, man, I want a married to say because now, because if you marry now, I say, school the poet. The man he wants me to for me to say, oh, me born me. Then I open up my hand. Child marriage, in my opinion, is one of the worst forms of child abuse. It's a gross violation of women's human rights, and at the same time, it will not allow our girls to maximize their potential. So we'll have a decreased workforce, and um, productivity will be reduced. In Sierra Leone, poverty, gender inequality, and discrimination against women and girls has advanced child marriage in Sierra Leone. Child marriage is deeply rooted in harmful traditional practices. As I see no more now, the man no go buy the thing the owner for the married now. So I now I run away now. I can't to eh eh. I to this me auntie also now. So I can now. So I now in the mumba we come up on a corner back. Then can I back? In same picking, no make lash shame. Say the man no buy the thing the all. He say no put date for the married. He say go for the married. I say mummy no. Try even grab on a back. I go now turn back. So I now in call back and I back. Say if no good for the married now, make them drive me. So I now me auntie back in. He sent me now na eh, eh, na na replace. So I now they force me now take myself now agree for the marriage now. The marriage happy now go on back. So I didn't see now see me I don't want to get now. After the marriage do, do, do happy now I, I don't want the money house now. I go spending now one month and half. So, eh, so I didn't come body back. UNFPA and UNICEF are working together to implement the global program to accelerate action to end child marriage in Sierra Leone. Now in Sierra Leone we have a problem with child marriage. We found that almost 40% of our girls are married by the time they are 18. In addition, we see that about 28% of our girls have begun childbearing by the time they are 18. So you know, we have a problem in country, but even globally, Sierra Leone is ranked as the 15th country with the highest rate of child marriage in the world. As First Lady of Sierra Leone, I've been involved in all forms of reproductive, sexual, and child health issues. Child marriage is one of the issues that I have taken keen interest on. We have done a lot of advocacy work on the prevention of child marriage. We have utilized our traditional and religious leaders, rolled our programs. They have used their podiums to advocate against child marriage. Do I want to tie the married now? Me mommy now, now, put my them back. Then go back and I can't be now. So I don't want to come here now. Let's all now. So I now, in the Naka, he can't meet me now. He say, let me call the people and they now. And for me, they forgive them now. He said, the married back. He said, don't pull out today now. We need to really put the adolescents in the center stage, adolescent girls, so that they know the implications of child marriage. And by really providing them second chance for those who are already in the union, we are offering them second chance by offering them health facilities that is really uh, empowering them and also by empowering communities. We've gone into the communities to actually map out which girls are most vulnerable, which girls are, are at the highest risk of child marriage in those particular communities. And we are looking at programs where we are providing girls with increased access to education. We are actually working with mentors, we've trained mentors who provide them with life skills education. Yes, I'm going to go to school. 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 13 to 15, I had a school. Married the more than I gain. I had to go to school. Never be after 18 or above 18 to be vegan here. I be a V, be a B, not to be my hero. I affect never let me live with my hero. Then my mama, not being your mask, but I never hear a girl or he paid a cab. I never hear a girl for him. Giving information to the youth that is empowering. As well, we want to collect with the government to create an uh, information system that will help in the planning to address this and it will help in the evaluation of the program in the future. My legacy is basically 
to improve the health and welfare of our women and girls. By so doing, we are looking after the men. I want our girls to be empowered. We are working towards 2030 sustainable development. We want more women in the decision-making process. We want to narrow the gender gap between men and women. Our family are for help people tomorrow. If I know go school, I know go be there tomorrow. 